The playoffs are out of our hands. It is very, very tight as we get into the running for the playoffs. We are two points behind Oxford and Luton. So if either team slip up in the slightest way, we have to be hot on their heels. Today is going to be either the end of the season or a miraculous attempt of getting into the playoffs. <laughs> Yes then guys, what is going on? It's Kempi here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a massive, massive day. It's hopefully the day we get in to the playoffs. So we desperately, desperately need that this year. Last season we were one point away and one go away from getting in to the championship. This season we had a very, very rocky start as you all know. But we turned it around massively and our form towards the end of the season has been brilliant. I mean, just look at this. A lot of wins in there. There's a few dodgy patches, but a massive spell in December. We were unbeaten in a long, long time. But this start of the season absolutely killed us. And we are now in a position where we've got 75 points and we are two points behind Oxford and Luton. Last season, if we finish from this points tally we'd be in the playoffs already, done and dusted. Last season, we finished on 79. I've got a feeling we're going to finish something very close to that this season as well, but we cannot hold our head like that. We have to think about this season, and there is two very good sides just ahead of us. Oxford have left to play, uh, where are they? Plymouth, who are in 11th, so Pie Face, do us a favour, uh, and Bradford City in 21st, fighting for their League One life on the last day of the season. Uh, when it comes to Luton. They're the team, I think, if we're going to catch anyone, it will be them. Their form recently has been poor. They pulled off a 2-1 win against Wickham, but they've got crew away from home in 10th, and then they've got Huddersfield on the last set of the season, who are top of the table and fighting for a win and a championship win as well, getting up into the championship. We have got two games left as well. We are away to Cheltenham, who are also fighting for survival down in 19th place, and Birmingham, who hopefully for this last game of the season just see it as a chance to play some kids and give us a chance. They're down in 16th and nothing to play for. Today is going to be mental. It's going to be a busy one. It's going to be a big one. So make sure to stay locked, stay subscribed. There is going to be uploads coming all weekend long. I'm even going to the QPR game uh, last night, I think, as you've watched this, um, Thursday the 29th. So, yeah, there might even be a little QPR blog as well if I do do it. So... Content season is well underway in this limbo crimbo period. So subscribe to the channel and make sure to stay locked. It's going to be a very exciting weekend. Let's get into this game away at Cheltenham. Hopefully give ourselves a great chance of getting into the playoffs. Paul Mullen is finally back from injury as well. But that does not mean he gets a spot in the starting lineup. He gets a spot on the bench today. And it is a welcome face to hopefully bring off the bench if needs be. The team is quite as settled as well. It's Ben Wilson in goal, Divine, Williams, Andy Appan at the back, uh, Mackenzie, B uh, Nerfil, Bove, Bellingham, Blake, Nevers and Lingard. Bernard is on the bench. He's been really struggling with fitness lately and Will Andy Appan has been quite the replacement for him. He always has been good when we bring him on. Cheltenham are fighting for survival, so I'm not expecting an easy game in the slightest. There's going to be eyes peeled on the other two games as well. I'm not sure if they're playing tonight actually. It is a 7.45 uh, yeah, 7.45 kickoff uh, on a midweek. There is no games this weekend. It is a 10 day break before the last weekend of the season. So there might be a few games today, a few games the week after as well. So yeah, it's all a little bit all over the place, but it's getting nervy now. It is squeaky bum time in the season. A ball over the top and Sebastian Neves can get us off to a great start, but he hits the ball over the bar just 40 seconds in. Crew are playing Luton tonight and Oxford are playing Plymouth. So two games we are very interested in seeing the results of are happening this evening. So it should be nice and easy to keep an eye on how things are going there. I'm going to go attacking from the off and Oxford have picked up an early lead in their game. I saw Lingard wins the ball back nice for us. Adrian Blake, Vine and Joe Bellingham, great boy over the top. Charlie Lingard bursting clear, great strike and Stone with the save. Keeping this one at 0-0, 13 minutes in. We've had two great chances already and we look up for this one a ball to the back post Reese Williams not going to get on that bun Andy Appan finds Blake Williams again goes for a strike with his feet but that's not where you want you Williams you want your big head of yours uh, Oxford yeah taking the league Bellingham with the ball in Reese Williams that big head doesn't get on the end of that one and Cheltenham are going to try and bring this one forward with Smith 
He's got a bit of pace about him as well. There's two in the corner with him. McKenzie does eventually get that one. And we can rebuild again. Bellingham, go for one of them balls. He just switches it this time to Divine, who's been brilliant recently. And he gets down the right-hand flank, finds Nerfield. Neves is dispossessed by Anderson. And as a boy over the top, I'm sure he is offside. Andy Appan, it clears up anyway. And we get to build out from the back again. It is Jack McKenzie finding Adrian Blake. Beats his man with pace and a little bit of dribbling skill there, the little man. Adrian Blake, can you get a ball in the box? It's a penalty. Of course it's a penalty. We've had so many penalties recently and Joe Bellingham has been brilliant from the start. Do not let me down now, Joe. Let's zoom right in. Joe Bellingham puts it away. He has done so much for this club on both loan spells and he's been prolific from the spot when he has been asked to and he has just made it 1-0 to Wrexham, which will provisionally put us in the playoff spot because Crew are 1-0 up against Luton, and that is exactly what we needed. They've got a very, very tough game on the last day of the season, so if we can just keep going, we could possibly find ourselves sneaking into the playoffs. Lingard's fine, Sebastian Neves. It's a great save from the Cheltenham keeper just there, and Luton have scored to equalise. We are level on points, but we've got a great Great goal difference, plus 35. Um, we are, we're a very, very strong side. We do not deserve to be fighting this spot. We deserve to be fighting for that title. But, yeah, a very bad start. And sadly, a goal conceded there out of absolutely nothing from Hendry. Ben Wilson seemed to just go down and not really put much of an effort up for that one. It was just a few passes. I wasn't paying much attention. It was Chapman finding ad shed, and the defence just stepped up. I think Reese Williams was a bit out of position. It was just an easy one too, and he was through, and he had scored, and it is a draw, and it is 1-1. Just 37 minutes into this game, it has been action-packed. Ball over the top. Eduardo both does well there to get clear. And Andy Appan can just slow the game down. Bellingham is dispossessed, though, very easily there from Reed. Uh, it's a switch to Hunter. Devine needs to get on him. Hunter's got a bit of space. He's going to get a ball in the box. Reed, good save from Ben Wilson. It's not what we need to see at all there. Joe Bellingham, a ball in the box. Reese Williams for great header. Neves as well hits the post. And we are creating chances, but we are not getting the ball in the back of the net. Divine is going to do a ball over the top. Is never going to get on the end of it. He is. He finds Charlie Lingard. <sighs> I'd have put a house on that. He's put it wide of the mark. Crew are beating Luton. They are doing their part. But we are not finishing the dinner. I'm going to say I don't know what I just saw. We have got Paul Mullin ready to come on and save the day. And I think that is exactly what is going to happen. Nothing has happened in the last five minutes. Neves is going to come off. And Super Paul Mullin is going to come on. And so is Jordan Davies. And so is Tayshon Oakley Boot. We're going to make a triple change at the 50th minute mark. We need a result here. And a win is so, so key. Tayshon Oakley Boot finds Bellingham. A ball there trying to find Charlie Lingard. Not a great one. He does dispossess him though. And Charlie, can he go alone? He can, but it's over the bar. And again, we are putting pressure on, but we are not scoring the the winning goal. Rhys Williams with a header, finds Lingard, Mullin back from that injury, hopefully with a 100% fully fixed hip. We do find Josh Nerfield down this right-hand side, ball into Mullin is not a great one, and it is a long clearance for them. Andy Yapan, boy over the top, Mullin, can he get that one? He can't. He's fighting to get back into this spot, and Hunter now tries to bring it clear, but Tayshon does very well for us, and we pick the ball up. Again, a hectic cup, a hectic couple of minutes indeed. Um, it is non-stop this game. I tell you, Josh Nerfield heads it on down the line. Mullin, ball in the box. Charlie Lingard. And that is 2-1. And that is a link-up I remember very, very well. Mullin, the assister. Lingard, the finisher. And it is what we need today and what we certainly need for this playoff run as well. We take a 2-1 lead in the 56th minute. And it is all guns blazing from here. I'm still on attacking because there's no point in sitting back. We are much the better side. If we get a 3-1, we can then sit back a tiny bit more. Mullin finds Josh Nerfield. Can he get a ball in the box again for Lingard? He has. He's headed away. And Cheltenham are going to try and bring this clear with Chapman. Reed, great switch to Tracy. Just knocking the ball about now, Cheltenham. We don't like to see this. Chapman boy over the top. Andy Appan doing very, very well. And we can, again, just build out from the back in a nice, relaxed manner. McKenzie finds Oakley Boot. He can pick a pass. And Mullin's going to get on the end of this one. He goes across to Charlie Lingard. And it's 3-1. And Paul Mullin and Charlie Lingard is the link-up we have missed 
oh so much. Sebastian Neves has been fantastic. He was always brought in to be a backup. Plymouth are now beating Oxford. Luton are losing to Crews. So as it stands, we actually jump up into fifth place. Two teams doing a massive, massive job for us. Crew and Plymouth leaving it. So it's in our hands for the last game of the season. And I'm telling you now, this season's been an absolute roller coaster. I don't think it is over yet. Andy Yapan of a header just going over the bar. I'm not too worried about rest and legs. We've got a nice long break. Cleworth with a ball. And we can easily get that one. Ben Wilson deciding to maybe go for a goal on his own playing left back there. But thankfully getting back where he belongs in that little six yard box. Jordan Davies on the board on this left hand side. Wrexham legend at this point. He has to be on that legends list. McKenzie, boy of the top. Lingard, find Paul Mullen. Get him back on the score sheet. He's been injured for three to four months. But he's back today with his little Irish jig. And Paul Mullen puts us four one up and we have missed him so much. Plymouth still doing a job. Crew still doing a job. We're going to just drop into a cautious mentality now and just time waste here. We don't want to see too much of this game anymore. No ridiculous late football manager comebacks, please. It will be great just to see this game with no injuries, no red cards, nothing like that. No hig jiggery pokery. Just a nice, easy finish. I can't believe both of them look like they're going to drop points here. It would be fantastic because it would give us probably a bit of an easier game as well for the first round of the playoffs. Lingard going through and just putting the ball wide of the mark. It would mean hopefully a game against Wigan. Ball in the box. Reese Williams. I say that like it's all over. There's still another game week to go. But I think this hit gives us a massive, massive helping hand in getting into the playoffs. Especially as Luton has Huddersfield for their last game of the season. Lingard over the top to Mullin. It is the 94th minute and the game is over. A very good performance. A 10 rating for Charlie Lingard. A 9.5 there for Paul Mullin. An achievement of shots for days and that is exactly how I describe that game. We were massively, massively on top. We looked like we couldn't finish our dinner but we have in the end and things look very promising. Luton and Oxford both on 77 points. Luton have got a game against Huddersfield who are second fighting for top as well. I think playoffs could be happening today. It all comes down to this. One last game. We are sitting fifth in the playoffs. And one thing I think you guys will find very interesting as well is we have never been in a playoff position this season. We stooped as low as 22nd. We have been hovering around the seventh place for a long old time and today we find ourselves on the last day of the season in fifth for the first time. One other thing I think you guys will find rather interesting is in terms of the XG table, we're top. I knew we were due to score all these goals. We are 13 goals higher than everyone else. Our points, yeah, we just should be top and it's annoying that we're not. I don't understand it that much but we should definitely be top. The team we're going with today... Paul Mullen is going to stay on the bench, just due to that lack of match sharpness. Um, Bernard comes back in at centre-back, and apart from that, it is all unchanged. We know Luton have got a very tough game today against Huddersfield. I believe, uh, what are they called? Not Luton, the other ones. The other ones that we're battling against. Burton? But Oxford! Oxford and Burton. Oxford are away to Bradford City, who are right down below in the table today. We just need to do our job. We do not want to rely on anyone else. We've managed to get it into our own hands, which is fantastic. We seem to turn up on the day in front of this race course faithful, in front of these red dragons and turn up. Neves fighting for the badge. Blake on that left-hand side. Can he get a ball in the box? He finds Bellingham. He turns on a pivot, goes all the way back to Bernard, back into Bellingham. He can find a pass. He does. It's Josh Nerfville. Josh Neely was the man to put us 1-0 up. I'm not underestimating how good Birmingham can be on their day. They are down in 16th place, but a very big club nonetheless. And I'm sure they could have the ability to turn up and cause an upset today if they wanted to. It is Morley on the ball, fighting Robertson, going back to Pendleton. It's a long ball forward, which Bernard deals with very well. Bellingham with a great switch out to Josh Nerfield, who's playing way above his level right now. He's been so, so good for but he's given everything for this team. Similar to Jordan Davies, they've both come up together on this wing position and done so well. Lingard with a great header win there. 
Sebastian Neves is dribbling past everyone, goes alone, and it's a great save from Alex Smithies. But Neves showing his quality of his dribbling and his flair and his determination going right through one on one. And a great save from the keeper. Bellingham with a cuff corner. Williams not scoring that one. Bellingham does find Neves again. Back into Williams, who just needs to stop doing things with his feet. And Eduardo Bove hits the crossbar. It bounced on the line. We nearly go 1 0 up, but not quite. That was so close from Bove there. Great effort where the keeper had absolutely no chance. You can see Birmingham are trying to get out, but they are just falling straight into our trap. It's a ball in the box. Never hits the crossbar. Lingard is brought down in the box, and it's not a penalty. It goes out for a corner. How we have not scored yet. I do not know. That is twice we have hit the crossbar. A great headed effort there. A ball in the back box. And Reese Williams doesn't score that one. It is cleared again by Birmingham. who are hanging on by the skin of their teeth. We're going to go attack him. We might as well go for him. They look like they are there for the taking. I hope we don't push too many men forward, however, and can see the goal like this. It's Simmons on the ball and a good save from Ben Wilson, it made me nervous, and then he switched back straight away. How's the other games going? Uh, Luton still drawing in with Huddersfield, and Oxford still drawing to Bradford City. We do want that fifth place position for maybe a slightly easier draw in the net, the first rounds of the playoffs, the semis. Um, I wouldn't like to be facing Huddersfield if there's a chance. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see who we get if we can get through here. Reese Williams, a great interception there. Can he build up from the back? Is a great long ball. Sadly, not so great as it is intercepted by Ashby and Birmingham. Tries to put it up from the back, but Lingard doing very well. And a ball nearly slipped in there to the man, Sebastian Neves, but not quite quite good enough to slip through that gap. It is O'Connell switching the play, but Adrian Blake is alert to it. He gets on it. He gets alone, and it's an effort. And Alex Smithies is doing the best he can to frustrate us here today. It's a good save, and we're going to encourage the boys because we are so, so on top. Um, luckily for us, the other games are also nil-nil draws. Divine with the ball in. Lingard heading just over the bar. And it might not be our day for goal scoring. We might call on super Paul Mullin to help us once again. If needs be, I'm sure he'll be the man to step up and help. Uh, knocking the ball back in a nice little triangle there. Bernard with a great ball to Neves. That's surely a cut across to Lingard. And he's missed it again. Charlie Lingard does not want to score today with the looks of it. And it is still nil-nil. I'm going to say I do not like what I have just seen as things are still in our hands, but things are not going as well as I'd hoped. A good clearance there from Bernard. Can we get out to it now and push right up the pitch? It is Birmingham with Morley on this right-hand side. Adrian Blake doing very well there. And a ball forward to Sebastian Neves, who's going to bring this one forward and go back to Blake on the left-hand side. A great ball at the top. And Charlie Lingard has to. He's at the point where he might come off. I might have to take Charlie Lingard off. Bradford City are beating Oxford, and that is not what I expected to happen. I thought if anyone was going to do us a favour, it would be Huddersfield, who are still drawing 0-0. We're at the point now where Paul Mullin is going to be coming on, but Sebastian Neves is going to keep his spot, um, and Sammy Sismodix is going to come on the right wing as well. Uh, Bellingham and Bove in the midfield, winning the ball back, and Neves is on the ball Gets a ball out wide to Josh Nerfield. A great ball again. Trying to find that in behind. Nerfield with a ball and again. And Smithies gathers again. It is end-to-end -end stuff. We are massively on top, but just not putting the ball in the back of the net. And we are now an hour in, and we're still tied nil-nil. Neves goes for an effort, and Smithies just dives and catches it like he's a prime Edison, rather than Alex Smithies down in League One. He really is having the game of his life. Blake with the ball there. Neves might be offside. Lingard was definitely offside. I'm not sure if Neves was. The Lino's not giving it, and we are one nil up. I thought Neves was offside. Lingard was certainly offside. I was worried Neves was too, hence the delayed reaction. But what a great ball this is from Adrian Blake. You can see Neves has timed his run to perfection. Lingard, not so much, hence why he left this one. And Neves keeps the faith alive and gets us one nil up, and we are in control of this one now. We are sitting in fifth place off our own back. We're going to lose in, but we cannot catch them. Luton are winning, I believe, against Huddersfield. They are, so that is a huge, huge goal. Uh, we're going to make some subs just to try and keep this in our hands. We're going to bring on Andy Yapan, and we're also going to bring on Tayshon Oakley-Boot 
for Joe Bellingham. Um, Oxford are still are they drawing to Bradford City now. We cannot afford to concede. If we concede, we drop onto 79, and Oxford could quite easily turn that around against Bradford. So just keep this lead, lads. I'm going to drop into a cautious mentality and just waste a lot of time. Five minutes to go. Massively the team on top. You can see why our XG chart is so high, but none of that is going to matter. We have secured playoffs. Wow. Okay. Today is going to be a fun day. This is going to come out Friday morning. Now that I know we have secured the playoffs, you guys are going to get this at 11 a.m. on Friday morning, which uh, possibly 10 a.m. actually, because there could be this at 10 a.m., a QPR vlog coming out about 1, 2 o'clock, and then the playoffs at 5 p.m. today, where we're going to face Wigan first of all, and then either Bristol or Luton. Oxford just miss out due to that goal difference. We had the best goal difference in the entire league. We finished nine points behind Charlton. Two points better off than last season. Hopefully, we can join Charlton and Huddersfield in the championship next year. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Keep your eyes peeled for the video later on today. We do take on the dread of playoffs and hopefully can right last season's wrongs. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you next time.